top of the morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for April 8th, 2019. Well, hey everyone, I hope you had a great weekend. You're ready to get back into the swing of things. Looks like we have a little bit of a, well, just a little bit of a dour, dour look this morning on the market. Not too terrible. Let's take a look and see what the markets um, are telling us um, in the charts. First off, let's take a look at the diamonds here. Notice that the diamonds, we have moved above this price resistance here in the chart. That's fairly significant. Moving up through there. Now what's going to be critical is that we hold up here. We don't want to see a failure pattern occur where we drop back below these this level of support or even put in like an evening star type pattern we don't want to see that now even if that were to occur we do have a little bit of support right in here that could hold us but um, once we gain a support level we kind of want to hold on to it we don't want to be drifting back down and this morning we're looking at a little bit of a drift lower suddenly overnight we became very concerned in the market that the next quarter earnings are not going to be um, as um, rich as was once expected analysts were at one point saying we could expect a three percent growth this next quarter in earnings um, but now um, there is a report suggesting that it could be down as much as 4%. So analysts are scrambling to uh, lower earnings estimates, which, you know, it's just a, uh, earnings is just a game. But what we're going to see, have to wait and see is how those earnings start to roll out. Now, we really don't kick off our earnings season until Friday. Friday um, is when we will hear, um, we're going to hear from WFC. Let's see, we we have reports. Let, I just need to look here real quick. We need JP Morgan, JP Morgan, PNC, and WFC on Friday the 12th, and that will be followed on Monday by Goldman Sachs and Citibank. So our earnings season will begin to kick off here, um, and we really haven't even finished uh, last quarter. So it'll be kind of interesting to, to see what happens here. Now, this week is going to be kind of an interesting week because we have a relatively light economic calendar. We really don't have much going on earnings-wise. Everyone's going to be kind of in a wait-and-see um, attitude uh, for... Um, you know the earnings season kickoff here on friday so it'll be kind of an interesting week uh to be certain and maybe a little bit challenging with light and choppy price action so we'll have to keep an eye on that let's take a look at the spy 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 has done a really good job gapping pushing up through this level holding into this trend let's keep in mind that um uh, if we start to see some pullback, as long as we can hold above that level, hold above that trend, we'd be in really good shape. So any rest pullback consolidation really won't hurt us here as long as we can stay above that level of support. And, you know, for now, uh, futures on the ES are just showing a modest, um, modest decline this morning at the open. Not much fear um, in that, at least um, at the moment. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ, the Qs. Uh, this has been our strongest index all along, just maintaining this beautiful trend. Doesn't seem to want to crack that at all. Uh, this morning, it's going to dip just a little tiny bit according to the futures. But what's going to be really, really important is that we hold on to this price support. If we can hold above this level, I think we're in really good shape. So any rest, consolidation, pullback in here really uh, doesn't hurt us unless we start to drop through that level. If we drop through that level, um, all bets are off. It could become very challenging if that were to occur. So let's keep an eye on that price level in the queues. Now, IWM is a very different story. IWM uh, made a nice move last Friday, rallying back up, but we've rallied back into this price resistance where we have failed before. And if we if we lose this, if we start dipping back down, we could see some trouble um, with IWM. 
And IWM is one of those that can sometimes signal ahead of time trouble. And you can see IWM is a long ways from making new market highs and um, could be, you know, a bit of signal for a problem ahead in the market. So let's kind of keep an eye on IWM. We don't want to see that failure here. What we'd like this to turn into is a nice little W bottom pattern that pops out, holds support, and off we go uh, to the upside. We'll have to wait and see how that plays out. Let's take a look at the VIX. That VIX um, showing really no fear at all as of Friday. We, we were dipping low, breaking down through this support level. But you can see by the end of the day, we had a little bit of a rally back here, um, giving us the possibility of that W type bottom right in here. We'll have to wait and see with, with the market dipping a little bit lower this morning. We could see that the fear begin to creep up here just a little bit in the market so let's keep an eye on that as long as we stay below this level here um, or really below this level here I think we're going to be okay in the VIX keep in mind any rally back up this could be nothing more than rallying back to test the downtrend for more move lower so nothing um nothing bad here at least yet but we will want to keep an eye on this if the market is going to start getting a little bit nervous about uh, the earnings quarter coming coming up let's take a look at uh, t21 22. it's at four week new high new low ratio and you can see t21 22 is giving us that that signal up here that we we really have reached uh, that bearish reversal zone that place where we can pull back now a lot of folks will will view that well and this morning the bearishness coming in that that means we just really have to pre uh, precipitously drop and that's just not the case we can we can pull back slightly we can wander around in the market and that actually relieves some of the pressure here upside pressure on the market so the fact that we're up here and seeing a little bit of a pullback this morning not that big a surprise and something that um, i've kind of been uh, pointing to as a possibility the last couple of days of trading so what this tells us is we have plenty of room to move to the downside um, doesn't really suggest that we need to um, just collapse or anything like that just a little bit of a pullback and that opens up the window then if we can move back down here toward this mid-range would open up that window where we could go up or continue on down so nothing terrible there but just keep an eye on it let's take a look at our um, economic calendar kind of a light economic calendar this week we do have a couple things to make note of but first off today we have factory orders coming out at 10. I kind of doubt that moves the market around much. And then just some bond auctions and um, not much going on here on the economic calendar. We do have things um, later this week to uh, pay attention to first the CPI report that certainly can move the market around on that CPI report keep in mind we have the FOMC minutes that will be coming out on Wednesday as well and as you know we whatever gets done in the FOMC minutes markets can certainly react and respond to that so that's probably our biggest thing we do have a you know um, uh, Powell speaking uh, three days this week with a bunch of other, you know, Fed speakers uh, chiming in. And then there's this PPI report that could move us around on Thursday. But um, other than that, a pretty darn light economic calendar, not much that um, can really move the market a whole lot. So let's... Um, Let's take a look at that, uh, the earnings. Now today we, we have, believe it or not, we have about 50 companies um, on the calendar reporting earnings, but there's less than a handful. I mean, I think I, what I'm seeing right now, I think there's three companies that are verified that they're actually going to report today. Um, lots of unconfirmations and, you know, that, and, and none of them would be really what I would, none of the companies would be really what I would consider uh, particularly notable 
today so i wouldn't expect much activity in that now the rest of the week we kind of just dribble along here with earnings as we um you know and the focus is going to be on friday when we um hear from jp morgan and wfc and pnc so kind of keep that in mind so with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, would you please do me a favor? Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook if you happen to be watching the video there. Um, also, click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. I can't even tell you how important it is uh, for those algorithms to show these videos to more people. If they're liked and commented on, it really helps helps an awful lot so thank you to everyone who does that you guys are awesome i truly truly appreciate it and also i want to say you know please feel free to share this video it's free to anyone you know share it on facebook share it on twitter wherever you might utilize um, social media feel free to do that it is um, open for everyone and the purpose of this these videos is just really uh, to help others do a little bit better job in preparation for the day um, uh, no sales no uh, you know it's just it's just to help and um, hopefully um, you find some benefit in that and, and hopefully others do as well. So with that, everyone, let's take a look at a few charts that could be setting up. we got to be a little bit careful here. Um, clearly, the market could, well, could become a little bit challenging um, this week, which is light and choppy price action as we kind of wait for those earnings on Friday. And then just that concern that's just kind of hovering over us about whether or not earnings will make it gives you know might give you just a little bit of pause so a chart that's really been setting up that i i've really been paying attention to is acb now acb is one of those cannabis companies and you can see it's being challenged by this resistance right here we popped through pulled back but notice we're holding on to this trend and our price action has become really light and choppy right in here now, while that consolidates over toward the trend, we want to keep an eye on it just in case that happens to pop and pop up out of there. Could be a really nice move. And I want you to kind of notice that this price right in here, where I had my price alert, that little pink line, you can see it's very much the same. The chart had popped up there, pulled back, bounced around, moved over to trend, and that's when we got that nice move that um, a lot of us in right way options um, took advantage of. And now we're really setting up the very same kind of pattern, and I would suspect if we can pop out of there, uh, the possibility of challenging this high up here um, certainly um, makes sense. So keep an eye on ACB. How about Valero Energy? Valero and a lot of the oil companies had a big, big move um, on Friday. Valero Energy, really nice Morningstar pattern here popping off of this support. Um, whether it could follow through this morning, I don't know with this little bearishness in the market. But right now we're looking to kind of open about where we closed. And that what's going to be really critical here for Valero is if we can actually break through this level. If we can get through this price action level here, we could be in pretty good shape. And anything holding up in there looks like a great opportunity. Um, so might keep an eye on that. Um, a few things that you might want to consider is when the market's a little bit shaky, a little bit sketchy, maybe looking towards some of those uh, companies that are a little bit more defensive, higher dividend payers. Take a look at MDLZ, Mondelez. Take a look at MDLZ. MDLZ been trending up nicely. Nice, tight consolidation over here toward trend. That's a very nice signal here. All we need is those buyers to step in to push us up off of this area and maybe extend, continue to extend this run up. And this may be one of those safety plays. And you can see it's right here in that consumer defensive sector. And I'm seeing a lot of those stocks trying to pick up here just a little bit. My 
might want to take um, a look at those and see if there's something in there that could um, help you protect your capital as well. Take a look at um, a chart like KMB. Kimberly Clark, another one of those defensive sector companies, has moved up nicely, challenged a resistance, pulled back, and it's holding in that trend. There's no buy signal here yet, but you can see if that can catch a buy and then pop on out. Uh, KMB might be worth uh, paying attention to. Uh, it could could really start to fire up here on those charts. Take a look at T. T, AT and T, another one of those companies. Uh, it, it's not listed as a defensive company, but one of those companies that's just kind of those old standards that pay a really high dividend yield. Look at the strength that's coming into those, and that's what gives me a little bit of concern about um, the market seeing so many, so many um, uh, of these defensive type companies um, starting to build some energy and some strength. You might want to take. A look at Hess, H E S, another oil and gas company. Beautiful pop here on Friday. Move and follow through, breaking through some resistance here in the chart. Let me pull that back so you can see that and draw a line on there so you can see that a little bit more clearly. That's a beautiful breakout. So any rest consolidation in here, any follow through looks like a pretty good chart here on Hess and one uh, that would be worth keeping an eye on. Take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo, another one of those uh, defensive companies um, holding up here. You can see moving up, nice little pullback. This could continue to move on back to its trend before it has an opportunity to move up, but definitely one to watch if the market is gonna get a little bit uh, weird. A lot of folks will move to these defensive companies in here trying to um, uh, protect their capital and getting some of those uh, dividend yields. So keep an eye on PepsiCo. Um, let's see, there was one more that I wanted to mention, and that would be a Momo. Momo, really nice pattern here. Momo is going to be very much affected by any kind of a trade deal, so you'll want to keep an eye on that. But notice our nice trend here and our nice consolidating move over to trend. And isn't it interesting how charts do that? We, we break through downtrends. This is just uh, one of those price action things that just repeats over and over. We break through a downtrend, we test it as support, and then buyers step in. We somehow work our way over to trend before we really move up. Work our way back to trend, move up, work our way back to trend, move up, work our way back to trend. So our trend is... Um, nice and solid in here at the moment. Now we do have some resistance to be thinking about above in these charts, but if we can start pushing on up through here and just hopes of uh, the trade negotiations going well, could certainly do that. So you might want to put Momo on your list. Now keep in mind everyone, every one of these charts that I've posted out here have nothing, they're, they're not meant for, um, uh, I'm not suggesting it's, it's a buy or a sell. What I'm suggesting is you might want to put those on your watch list, mark them up, do your evaluation, and wait for those entry signals that could possibly come. Um, so no recommendation to buy or sell any securities here. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all just a great day of trading. And if this is... Um, if you find your trading to be really, really challenging, if you're struggling here a bit, this might be an extra challenging week with just light and choppy volume. But I want to encourage you never to, get, to give up on your dream of trading. Just really keep in there and keep working. Um, as an old carpenter that finally got it figured out after years of struggle, um, let me tell you it's worth it. So keep up the effort, never give up. Just keep pushing and pressing. And if there's something we can do to help, uh, please feel free to ask if there's a video that you would like to see. Let me know and I'll see what I can do. Everyone take care. Have an awesome, awesome day. And I'll um, see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Have a great day.